Hey everybody, Michael B. The Game Genie here, and on today's video, we're going to be reviewing the newest, if not smallest, entry into the virtual pinball field in the home arcade market, the At Games Legends Pinball Micro. So that's right guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the At Games Legends Pinball Micro and seeing how this Honey I Shrunk the Kids version of the excellent At Games Legends Pinball stacks up against the original. I want to say a huge thank you to At Games for sending out a copy of the At Games Legends Pinball Micro for the purpose of this review. So let's take a look at this compact pinball table and see what it can do and if maybe it'd be a cool at home pinball option for you. The At Games Legends Pinball Micro is finally out and shipping to consumers, and I am so excited I got my hands on one early so I could test it out here in the Geniecade. As most of you may already know, I am a huge fan of the original At Games Legends Pinball Table, and I am very interested in seeing how this micro version stacks up against the original, and would it be a comparable option for those who may not have room for the full-size machine. So let's take a look at what's included in the box. You open up your At Games Legends Pinball Micro box and it's pretty clear off the hop, everything is already there and put together. First off, we've got a part of our power cable there and there's the other part neatly packaged in the styrofoam piece here. We'll put that to the side. Now we're going to try to pull some more of this styrofoam out. And here, very nicely packaged, is the back box as well as the instruction manual inside. And there's the little tiny component package. You'll see the few little screws, screwdriver it comes with, believe it or not, and wooden dowels. And here comes the toughest part as we have to get the actual main body out of the box. And getting all these pieces of styrofoam out is the most annoying part. But here comes the main body of the ALP Micro, and this one is like a little tiny sharpened pinball machine in itself, except for the metal components where you can put the legs on. There's your ALP Micro. This has to be one of the most simple builds in the history of home arcade products, as the machine comes in two parts, the play field and back glass section, and only comes with a few dowels and screws. That's basically the whole installation. I was done in less than 10 minutes, and I was dying from COVID at the time, so a reasonable person could have done it much sooner. So here it is, fully assembled and sitting on a bar table in my arcade. While I did say it's fully assembled, that is only half true, as you can see it is set up to have legs attached that you would have to purchase separately, and I may do this eventually, but for now I intend to use it as a tabletop unit. First thing I want to discuss is the form factor, and they have done a good job replicating the look of the original unit and adding some additional curvature to the back box to give it a more modern look. Essentially you can tell it's a mini version of the Legends Pinball, and that's a good thing. As for the art style, people will be on several minds about this, as was Act Games as well, so they gave consumers options on several different styles to choose from. I'm glad I received the art style that took inspiration from the original, but changed the art to represent the games on the cabinet, and not the Gottlieb games on the original, which actually aren't on this machine. More on that later. I do like the art on the cabinet and that they have once again taken images from the back boxes to do a collage representing the Zachariah games and Taito games on the table. I will say I definitely preferred this more on the original as the back glass images they were using were from actual real world classic machines, while the back glass images they are using here are in-game design back glasses. Again, I'm a classic arcade and pinball dude who likes recreations, so that's what I want to see, but I understand what they are going for here and still love the bright and vibrant colors on the machine. Of course, most of you guys aren't here to talk about the art and want to know about performance, so let's get started with the main play field, which is displayed on a 15.6 inch vertical screen which features 1080p 60 frames per second virtual pinball action. For those questioning the performance of the ball right now, keep in mind that my camera records at 30 frames per second so it won't be able to perfectly replicate the experience on screen. The screen has a great picture, even light distribution with no discoloration from angles and a beautiful color array. No matter what game I have played on the screen, so far everything has looked fantastic. The one comment I will make about the screen size is personally for me, I find it a little hard to adjust to the smaller ball size after being used to playing on a 32 inch screen regularly, but I still have no problem playing. Moving to the back box, you will notice one big improvement right off the hop is that there is no lit up Legends Pinball Marquee to shine off the playfield, distracting your gameplay. I know people were concerned some corners would have to be cut to make the ALP Micro, but that is one no one is missing. 
The back box does feature an 8 inch LCD screen that is the active back glass for the Pinball Micro and works fantastically with all the same picture quality and vibrant colors of the main play field. The back box also has smaller speakers but don't let the size fool you as they still pump out a pretty impressive sound quality. Moving on to the controls, and they are pretty much the same as on the ALP, meaning you are getting great quality buttons for your flippers and nudge on the side. I will say that the buttons do seem a little close together at times, and I do find myself accidentally nudging when just trying to use the flipper, but I will adjust to that. The front buttons are nearly identical, as there is a start and home on the faux coin door, and a rewind action button as well. Unfortunately, one feature that was removed for the micro version of the ALP was the plunger, which has been replaced by a launch button. I understand why this was done, but I will say it does suck and I do miss the plunger, but you can still play every game on the system with the launch button and holding it to get that plunger type response. One button that I am sad to see remained is the directional pad on the lock bar of the ALP Micro. This is used to navigate the on-screen menus and to enter your passwords and things, and it really doesn't control well. I hope they eventually release an arcade control panel for this as well, just for the ease of navigation. For those looking for those advanced virtual pinball features, the table does include the same haptics as the ALP with exciters that go off in response to on-screen cues, and a nudge sensor to make it feel like real pinball. Moving on to the games is the fun part of this conversation, as there are 50 included games with the ALP Micro right off the hop, whereas the original ALP only came with 22 licensed pinball tables. This machine comes with an assortment of pinball tables from the Zachariah Pinball Catalog, including classic tables, remakes, and even some of the deluxe tables, which look incredible and play great. For fans of FX3 original tables, these are the closest to that experience, and it really is a special thing to have them included with this machine for free. We also received an assortment of the Taito tables that were developed by Act Games featuring such classic games as Bubble Bobble, Rostown Saga, and Space Invaders. Unfortunately, none of the Gottlieb tables that were available at launch with the ALP are included here, but luckily there is access to the online store and you can add those in the future and more tables to this machine such as the new Natural History tables made by Magic Pixel and Act Games that are just fantastic deluxe virtual pinball tables that all work great on this machine. For those of you interested in expanding your game's library above and beyond even that, you are in luck because just like the ALP, you can connect an external device such as a laptop or a PC and play games through that. To much fanfare from consumers, these ports have now been moved to the back where you will find the power button, an ethernet port, and most importantly for this step, an HDMI in slot and two USB slots. Connect your PC via HDMI and a USB cable for the controls and voila, you can play virtual pinball through the ALP Micro. Here I am playing Pinball FX3 through Steam on my laptop, which I already had set up with a cabinet code and just like with the ALP itself, I really enjoy the experience. One drawback as of this time is there is currently no back class support and I'm only playing on the main play field. This was the same with the original ALP as you had to purchase an additional VIBS board to allow a second HDMI input to the back class to enable back class support for external programs. The original VIBS board will not work with the LP Micro and a special VIBS board is being produced specifically for this device so you can get the full experience. So guys, that's my look at the At Games Legends Pinball Micro, and I'm amazed at how much of the At Games Legends Pinball they were able to retain while shrinking it down to this minuscule size. I have to say, it lets me do everything I want from an At Games Legends Pinball device. I can play all the excellent games in the At Games library, all my Zachariah games, all my Taito games, the new Natural History pack, and more games on the way, either through the eStore or through ArcadeNet. I can also hook it up to my PC and play either Pinball FX3 or Visual Pinball and get the same great experience I get on my ALP. The only downside of course is we do in fact lose the plunger in the conversion and that really takes away from the overall pinball experience and of course we also lose the light up Legends Pinball marquee but I would actually consider that a gain. This pinball machine is going to be coming out at $449 US, which I think is a pretty steep price, and God only knows how much it'll cost in Canada if it ever comes here. But luckily, At Games have been hosting a number of sales, and if you can pick it up for one of their sale prices, like for example, right now on the current sale, I think it's like $349, I think that there's enough value on what the machine does for its size for you to pick it up at that price point. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what do you think of the At Games Legends Pinball Micro? Are you as impressed with this device as I am? 
am. Are you picking one up? Have you already picked one up or are you not interested? Let me know why in the comments. I want to say thanks once again for watching, guys. I always appreciate the support. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll talk to you guys next time.